What's going on Shady People? Shady Penguin here bringing you another episode of our Pokemon Storm Silver Egg Lack Challenge episode number 29. Before we get started, please show some shady love to that like button right below this video. Remember the support is kind of dropping, but if we crush 3,000 likes a day, I will keep this series coming daily to you in your face. And you guys are going to want it because today the title of the episode is going to be Complete Turnaround. So I'm calling a complete turnaround before anything happens so you guys know that it's not a spoiler. It's just that I'm making a complete turnaround. You guys saw last time we ended with grinding. We have Ace Man 1100 at level 52. Ditto the Togekiss level 52. Mohits the Ambipom level 52. We have Blazing Fur name 52. SP Gamma the Cacturn level 52. And Mama the Kangaskhan 52. So we have a full team of six. The next thing I'm going to do, as per your comments, is I am going to go buy some gosh darn Hyper Potions. I think that this is where I would want to go for Hyper Potions. I think. I would hope so. Let's walk in here. You guys were all very upset about the fact that I lost Mr. Bagels. I was upset too, but it was my fault for not having potions, and I do apologize for that. Um, as much fun as I think a lot of you guys, I think a majority of you guys enjoy when I lose Pokemon. I really do. But I don't want to lose them carelessly. And that was a careless mistake by me not having potions, so I do apologize for that. However, this is a complete turnaround, and that is not going to be happening again. So in today's episode, we are actually finally going to take on... Whatever the heck happens on top of this tower, we are going to deal with it head on. We have a full team of six, and we are ready to go. We are ready to go. And we are not messing around. There's no more There's no more games. Does this Agron look like he's playing games? Does he look like he's messing around? Because he's not. If you think he's messing around, you're going to get heavy slammed and crushed. So let's go ahead and head to the top of this uh, radio tower. Right into here. What's going to happen? I don't really know. We're going to take an elevator, apparently. Goldenrod City Radio Tower Elevator. Next stop, Observation Deck. Whoa. So yeah, you guys, the support in the series is completely, completely necessary. Those likes, those comments, letting me know your favorite and least favorite part about the episode. All that feedback is so needed. So we are here on the top. Are you ready, Agron? Oh, he's ready. Ace Man is very eager. Woohoo, very eager. What's going on? What do you want? Archer. Oh, you managed to get this far yet again? You must be quite the trainer. We have taken over this radio tower and officially announced our comeback. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solitary training. We are going to regain our former glory. I will not allow you to interfere with our m meticulous plans. Medic meticulous? Meticulous. Meticulous. So Archer here. Executive Archer is here. Opening up with a Zangoose. Level 52. Another thing someone said is that I should over level like 10 levels. I'm never going to do that. There's really no way. I'm not saying the close. It's a crit! <laughs> T-shirt, where are you? Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm not saying that that close combat wasn't obvious, but I guess because I was six levels higher, for some reason my brain thought that I would outspeed. My brain really thought that I would outspeed. I have to actually. I think my grinding uh, is still on. There we go. Okay, Gyarados. All right, Gyarados, flying water. No Megas. Uh, what are your moves like? Fake out, Dizzy Punch. You could actually be useful. Let's go on to Mama. Gyarados could have Earthquake, could have Stone Edge. I don't think they carry any fighting type moves, so not going to have anything to hit Mama with. So we're going to go ahead and go out into Mama. But the Intimidate is real. Totally forgot about the Intimidate. Well, we're going we're gonna to go for the Fake Out and Flinch you anyway. We want to see how much damage this can do. Mama has a good move set. Uh, Dizzy Punch. Oh, wow. That does not do a lot. Um... Perhaps I should have went out to Togekiss, but I'm afraid of the Stone Edge. Let's see what he's going to do before we switch out. Let's just go for Dizzy Punch, possibly confuse him. And, uh, because I don't want to just switch out and take something hard. That does nothing, but we do get the confusion, luckily. Gyarados is confused. But he goes for the bounce. Okay, so bounce. Can anything take a bounce? Um, I feel like Ace Man, even though he's at low HP, can take a bounce. 228 attack. But then I'm not going to be able to take a water type move, so there's no point. Uh, I think we're just going to stay in here. We're just going to go for Dizzy Punch and miss. We're going to see he's confused. He lands the bounce. Let's see how much it does. It does more than I thought it would. Let's go for another Dizzy Punch. That does more than I thought it would. 
We should be good though because we do have potions of all kinds of variety. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Oh, I can't get it once. All right, let's go ahead and use a super potion right now. We don't need to use a hyper potion. There's no need. We don't have any super potions. We're using a hyper potion. Ah, oh, that's fine though. That's fine because we can always buy more hyper potions. 30 hyper potions is a lot, so we should be good. I don't really want to use super potions at this point anyway. He's going to land the bounce again, break through the confusion again. So it really must be nice. And he scores a crit too. All right, well, I have to use another hyper potion. He snaps out of confusion and goes for the EQ. Well, alrighty then. That shouldn't do as much because it's not stab. Is that another crit? Are you serious, Drayano? Oh my goodness. And goes for the bounce now. Alright. At this point, I have to switch out. Mohits, what's your defense like? What's your defense like in comparison to Mama? 96 defense. Mama has 105. So pretty similar. What's your HP? Your HP is a little less, but we should be able to take one bounce. We should be able to take a bounce at this point. Because our Kangaskhan had minus one attack, so it really was... He's going to use a potion. It would be ridiculous. We could take a bounce. We could, we could take that bounce just fine. I can actually go for the fake out here. And that might actually kill. Nope, it's just gonna miss killing, and I'm sure he's gonna use a potion. So let's go for the headbutt. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can see how much his headbutt will do. It's stab and it's neutral, so it should do a good amount. All right, that's over half. You know what? Two a KO. He's gonna withdraw. Goes out into Scizor. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! All right. I feel like I have to go and... What are you going to have for... You could have... Did they do stone eyes? I always see Bug Bite, Bullet Punch, Sword Stance. Let's go out into Infernape. Let's go out into our Infernape right now. Goes for the Sword Stance. Oh, I'm so glad I went into Infernape. So glad I went into Infernape. All right, we could just go for a Heat Wave. There's really no reason to even fake out. All right, he's going to go for Bullet Punch, but it's resisted. So it's okay, even though he Swords Dance, it's fine. Look at that, that's not a lot. Heat Wave is easily going to take this Scizor out. It's time for effective. Blaze is getting in there. Blaze, come on, Blaze. Blaze through this thing. Now, if the Gyarados does come out, we're going to switch out. There's a chance that it will, but it's at pretty low HP. Mohit's grows to level 53. Uh, Archer's going to send out Gyarados. This time, let's go on to Togekiss because it is a special attacker. And we're tired of the intimidation factor. Those, that rock, that bars, bars, hashtag bars. Mm. So he's gonna get the intimidate off. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. We can go for a try attack here, as it is neutral, and it's stab, so it should do a buttron of damage. Oh, we get the burn, and he's got the ice bang, and we got the burn. Wow, I mean, it wouldn't have killed anyway, but he's going to go down to the burn now, so no chance for a potion on this Gyarados. There we go. Ditto coming through. Normally, Ditto is a bad thing, but... Mm -mm -mm. Nice and Ditto. Wow, okay. I apologize for that. Even though I turned the EXP code off from grinding, uh, it didn't matter. So I do apologize for that. that that's, that's a bad thing. Machamp is going to come out. Ooh, that's kind of a problem for us. I think Blaze is our best bet to take on Machamp. I mean, Togekiss kind of seems like a good idea, but this thing could have Thunder Punch. It could have a bunch of stuff. So we're going to go out into this, because we can go for a Fake Out Close Combat. And we'll see how much this Fake Out does. That's a crit. I was going to say, judging by that, our Close Combat will definitely kill. I still think a Close Combat should kill. I can't run Calx, but I really do think that it should kill. We're going to go for it. I think that a close combo will kill. It's stab and it's like triple the strength of fake out. Please kill. Please kill. Oh no. Blaze. No, Blaze. Blaze, why couldn't you pull through? No, Blaze. No. Blaze. Blaze. I was thinking of the thunder punch or the ice punch. 
Well, now we have to go into Ditto. And I'm sure he's going to use a potion. And that's another Pokemon already down. And we have extra sensory too. But I don't know if Togekiss can take a Thunder Punch from a Machamp. And who knows what kind of item that's running. So unfortunately, Blaze did go down. I still... We're still playing better. I hope you guys aren't too mad about that. That was just... I really thought Close Combat would kill. I really, really did. That was such a... Oh my gosh. It's ridiculous. Alright, so Drapion. Drapion. We don't have anything with Earthquake, do we? We have Dig, though. We do have Dig. Will a Dig from a Mohit's kill, though? Maybe after a Fake Out. Possibly after a Fake Out. No Intimidate. So we can get a Fake Out off. No Poison Point. No Poison Point. No Poison Point. Have Sniper. Have Sniper. Flinch, dig. We're gonna get under the ground. We're gonna get underneath Drapion and pull him under and just yeah! just get him. He's gonna crunch. That's good. All right, he's going for a crunch. Well, let's stab. Actually, it's not it's not the best time in the world. Please die. Just die. It's a mo heat. Mo heats, please. You you're someone I don't want to lose. Please eat this crunch up. Please eat this crunch up. Yes! 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 We eat that crunch up, no problem. We can go ahead and go for a dig. And we're gonna kill this Drapion. Just like that. Just like that. Ah, oh, with Infernape down though. With Infernape down. We desperately need new new encounters. We desperately need new encounters. Poor Blaze. Poor Blaze! Houndoom. Normally I'd say let's just stay in. But I think we're gonna go out into Mama. Mama's thick, she's fat, she's ready to protect her kids. So Mama should be able to just take whatever this Houndoom wants to do. It's not a Mega Houndoom, so it's nothing crazy. Uh, we don't have typing advantage over this, but it's also not another Intimidator. Oh my gosh, go for the fake out. I think we're just gonna let, uh, well, unless he, what if he nasty plots? That does a good amount, even after the, oh, we're going for Dizzy Punch then. That does a good amount after the, uh, Intimidate too. If I didn't get Intimidated, wow. We're gonna get a Dizzy Punch off. He does outspeed and the sun is up, but I still think we can take a Flamethrower. Maybe not a Fire Blast, but we do get the confusion. I don't think Dizzy Punch always confuses. The sunlight is strong. So this next Dizzy Punch should kill. Hit yourself, hit yourself, come on! Yes! I was gonna say, none of this Pokemon hit himself, so that would be ridiculous if we didn't get one. So Dizzy Punch lands, that's gonna be the end of this battle. We did lose Inferni, which uh, I guess I have to lose a Pokemon every single episode. But um, it's, it's okay. That wasn't like a terrible, terrible, it was just really damage calcs, rolls. That's all that was. Double Edge, now that could be useful. But I really like Dizzy Punch, 70 does 120. It's almost double. But I don't want to take all that recoil. We're going to go ahead and give up on Double Edge. No, forgive me. I don't read your text because you killed one of my one of my Pokemon. You guys can read it, though. Go ahead. Read it. Read it! I'm not reading it. Well, I'm not reading it out loud. I thought you were going to disband Team Rocket. Do I really have to face Giovanni right now? My arrival is marked by a kid beating a Team Rocket executive. Disgraceful. Listen, kid. You've gotten yourself in involved in grown-up matters. I will show you the power of Team Rocket and the fruits of our plans. Prepare to experience a world of pain. So, Giovanni just wants to come in and end my lock. He looks like such a thug. He's from the Italian mob. Persian, you know who'd be good here? Inferni. Um, oh, wait, all my Pokemon are healed up? All right, well, Blaze is dead. We can't use Blaze. Blaze is dead. We're going to go ahead and stay in here. We're just going to go for a Rock Smash. Fake Out's going to do, like, four damage. It did three. Now I can decide. Do I really want to go for a Rock Smash, or would Iron Head be better? Let me check the power. Iron Head is 80. Rock Smash is 60. It goes to one. They both go to 120. Let's go for Iron Head. Goes for a Night Slash, but I resist that in this generation. 
So, wow, that does seven. Seven. So, Persian's just gonna get bopped by an Iron Head. You might not die, but... You just barely live. Use the potion. Go ahead. I'm gonna go for another Iron Head anyway. Waste your potions, Giovanni. Just waste them away. So, Persian is actually going to... Ooh! Nope. No max damage. He's not gonna use another potion. He realizes this kitty cat is gone. I like that he opened up with a Persian, though. That's really, really cool for Giovanni to open up with a Persian. That is so sick. So, went for the Iron Head. Let's see what he goes into now. Ace Man gains 15, 21. Experience is back to normal. Rhyperior. Ground Rock. So, SP Gamma should be able to put in the finest right here. SP Gamma should be able to take this thing on no problem. Oh, yeah. First time you're hitting the field in a battle. First time you're hitting the field in a battle. So, Rhyperior level 50. Oh, my gosh. Let's go for a Seed Bomb. Just die. Just die. Don't you dare have Sturdy. Don't you dare have Sturdy. This is right pure here. Oh my goodness. He's gonna go down to SP Gamma! That's amazing. Alright. SP Gamma takes some experience for himself. Giovanni wants to go into Nidoking, King, so poison moves. We can go back out into Aggron, but we don't have a ground type move for him. Our Togekiss, though, actually has the psychic type move, which will be super effective. And we're immune to one of his stabs. So that should be good. And I pretty good special defense depending on what kind of uh, Nidal King this is. We really don't know. We could have a Thunderbolt and an Ice Beam, but I think we could take one because it's not stab. So we're going to go for the Extra Sensory, see how much it does, and see if it's a possible to a KO. Wow, that does more than I thought. He did go for the Ice Beam, though. Now, as long as he doesn't crit freeze me, I should take this. There's the... Oh... We can go for an extra sensory. Gonna take out this Nidoking. King. Can we defeat Giovanni without losing any Pokemon? And we already lost Inferno, so our hearts have already been torn out of our chest. Isn't that enough for you guys? I feel like that's enough for you guys. Uh, Giovanni's about to send out Tauros. All right, so we can go out into Ace Ace Man because Ace Man should be able to handle Tauros very well. I know Tauros can have Earthquake, but my defense is really high, and Tauros would be unstab Earthquake. So we should be able to take him out with two Rock Smashes. If not, oh, Intimidate. All right, in that case, we're definitely going for Rock Smashes because they have a chance to lower defense. He does pack the Earthquake. We're going to see how much that does right now. It should not kill at all. There's no way it should kill. That does more than I wanted it to do, though. Let's see how much this Rock Smash is going to do. Choice Banded Rock Smash to a Tauros. After Intimidated, though, it does not do much. Uh, we're going to go ahead and predict the EQ, and we're going to go out into Ditto. He's gonna withdraw! Did he just bait me into the Ditto? Oh my goodness. I don't I don't know what just happened. Uh we know that like some sort of ice beam or something like that is coming. We're gonna go ahead and go out into Mama. I don't want I wanted to heal Ditto up before I sent it. Like I wanted it to both go in. I don't know. I don't want to use a hyper potion on there and then get to take an ice beam. Actually goes for the toxic! So Mama is now toxic. But we're not going to bother going for a fake out because it's not worth the payoff. We're just going to go for a dizzy punch. Look, Giovanni's teching. Teching into his team toxic stall. Well, we're going to go for a dizzy punch this turn and then we're going to go for an antidote on the next turn. Because we should... Come on, confuse him again. Confuse him. No confusion this time, and Nidal Queen goes for the Earth Power. I think I just said Nidal King a couple times. Nidal Queen goes for the Earth Power. It's going to do a good amount, and I get hurt by the poison. So I'm going to go ahead and predict the Protect here. And I'm going to heal up with an Antidote. And I'm pretty sure Nidal Queen should go for the Protect. Nidal Queen used Protect, but it failed. So now we can go ahead and use a Hyper Potion. If you guys are enjoying me, like, you know what I mean, taking my time and doing this the, the way that I was doing it earlier on, I do apologize. I wasn't rushing at all in past episodes. I was just like, I'm still so excited to play. So now I'm being tactic, being very tactful as if it's a uh, Wi-Fi battle. So that's what I'm doing now. So Nidal Queen is going to get a crit Earth Power. All right, so I'm going to use another Hyper Potion. Forget you too, Nidal Queen. Forget you too. We've seen Toxic and Earth Power. I don't think this Nidal Queen has an Ice uh, or Electric coverage. Because when I was out the Togekiss, she went for the Toxic. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a Hyper Potion on my Ditto just to make sure it's at full health. And look, 
Nidoqueen's Queen's gonna go for a Toxic here. So what I'm gonna do right now is predict the Protect and go out into Togekiss. Because he's either gonna go for Protect or Earth Power, one of the two, and either way, Togekiss is free to come in. Gonna go for the Protect and fail, and let's go for the Extra Sensor. Oh, now you're gonna Protect again. Giovanni's stubborn. Giovanni's really stubborn. Let's see if this extra sensory can one-shot a Nidoqueen who's a bit bulkier than Nidoking. Can we do it? We just barely missed, but we get the flinch. So we're going to go for another extra sensory and take out the Nidoqueen. That clutch flinch, Ditto. That clutch flinch. Yes. Yes. So that thing goes down. And Ace Man gained some experience. Ditto gained some experience. Mama gained some experience. The last Pokemon, I think it's the last Pokemon, is a Tauros. We can go out into Mohits, get a Night... Oh, but the Intimidate again. Should have stayed in. But it keeps sending in Tauros against Togekiss, which means that it has some sort of uh, Rock-type move for me. So I'm going to go ahead and go for a Fake Out. And then I think that... Oh, we get... oh yeah, of course we get the flinch. I was about to freak out as if like it was special. Headbutt is uh, 70, so Rock Smash is stronger thanks to being a uh, weakness. We're going to go for Rock Smash. I know we're intimidated, but this might take him out. It just barely misses taking him out. My opponent goes for a double edge. Please take it, Ambipom. Please take it. Yes! All right, so we took the double edge. That is fine. Taurus is going to go down to Recoil, and our team is slowly getting uh, dwindled down via HP. Last Pokemon is Kangaskhan. Uh, you know it would be so nice if we had Blaze. But we're going to go out into Ditto because I don't think this Kangaskhan will have much for my Ditto. I don't think so. Are we actually... Is Giovanni not ending our lock? Is Gio... What in the world was that? Don't tell me some inexper inexperienced kid can possibly be that strong. We're going to go... We're going to put you right to sleep. I'm not even going to mess around. I'm going to put you right to sleep. Double Edge. Yeah, I'm going to use a Hyper Potion. If you do over half. Didn't even do over half, but I'm still going to use a potion because I'm not taking a risk. Watch. Watch. He's going to crit me, but I'm going to live on two. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. You're going to crit me right now. I'm calling it. Called it! Double edge again. No crit. No crit. And now you're asleep, so I don't have to use a potion. I can go straight up for a try attack. Uh, you're going to stay fast asleep. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's what I want. That is a good time if you are sleeping. tri attack is going to go ahead and do some good damage, I'm hoping. It does... Ooh! What was that? All right, so we can go for another tri attack And this time I outspeed. So I guess he went for some either negative priority move or I won the speed tie. Either way, Giovanni goes down without taking one of our Pokemon. We did lose Blaze this episode, but we didn't lose to Giovanni and our lock did not end. What in the world are you? Guess so, Giovanni looks like such a boss. So, once again, a child defeats Team Rocket. Is Team Rocket forever doomed to be defeated by mere children? <laughs> it's so funny because it's so true. All right, so I think we're good. I think we're done in this tower, finally. Oh, you have already defeated them? Thank you. Your courageous actions have saved Pokemon Nationwide. You are well worth this. Please take it. I got the Silver Wing. There used to be a tower right here. When the tower was replaced with the Radio Tower, the Silver Wing was found at the top of the tower. I heard from a friend from Cian Wood that you can go down the cave at Whirl Islands when you have a Silver Wing. I have to get back to my office. See you. So now we have Lugia's Wing. Oh, what else do you have? Oh, I almost forgot. According to my friend from Sea and Wood, the legendary Pokemon will not appear if you just go down to the cave at World Island with only that silver wing. Apparently there is something else you need. Or something like that. I wonder what it was. I can't remember. Do you remember? Are you expecting something? This is why they call Fake Out. This is what they call Fake Out. I really must be going back to my office this time. See ya! So now he's done messing with my head and my heart. Luckily though, we disbanded Team Rocket. Let's see what Professor Oak actually wants. I'm actually curious. Hello, this is Professor Oak. Your Pokedex is really filling up. It's all... You'd think after like an event like that, maybe he called for a specific reason, but he didn't. So, 
Yes, we have something poison, but we can live the poison. We're going to go down because this episode is coming to an end right now. It is coming to an end. All good things must end. And uh, we're going to go ahead and heal up. And I think I'm actually going to get a capture because I really want to have a new Pokemon to train up. I don't want to choose from something else in our box. I want to... Oh, I feel... This is the start of something new. It feels so right to be here with you. Oh. And now looking in... You, High School Musical? I think that's what that's from. I don't know. Childhood. Embarrassing childhood, yes, but childhood nonetheless. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up and let's defo deposit. I almost said deposit. Let's deposit our Infernape. Because our Infernape unfortunately died. Uh, SP tokens. We're going to release these guys because these are Pokemon that we caught. That, um, that don't mean anything to us anymore. Because we already traded... We already got your, your guys' Pokemon. And this is going to be another... Oh, I don't want to... I just want to release you, Magikarp. I just want to release you. I know a lot of you guys were probably happy that I finally had the Magikarp egg in the last episode. But we're going to go ahead and put Infernape in here. And we're going to move Mantike. Because Mantike's not dead. He's just a bonus. Just a nice shiny Mantike I want to keep. And I want to name... I want to rename this box. And to dead too. Oh, I know exactly what I want to name this box. Name. I'm... I'm dead too. I'm dead too. So all these Pokemon are dead as well. Not these eggs, but obviously eggs aren't dead. So Infernape's gone. We're going to go ahead and have our encounter. We're going to put Togekiss out front because Togekiss has the yawn and that is very useful. And we should finally be able to head on to this route and we're going to end this episode just like this. Yes, Route 44, we get another encounter. We got a we got a red apricorn. Let's look for grass. I don't want a headbutt. I want to look for grass. I don't want to I don't want to surf either. I want to look for grass. Now I have to battle. You know what? We'll battle this guy first. We're just gonna go right through it. Alright, fine, we'll go for try attack. Dead. Espeon, we're killing you right away. Wow, the freeze! Drefrig, die! Alright, Ditto, you are powerful. Okay, you're really powerful. We definitely don't have to grind. Um, we definitely do not have to grind. I don't see any grass. Oh my goodness, more trainers. More trainers. I just want- I, I just wanted to do something simple. I just wanted to do something simple. Raichu? Let's send out Gamma. Do you resist Seed Bomb? No, you don't. You're dead. Charizard! Ha <laughs> ha! And I'm Mohits. Fake out. Headbutt. You're dead. Quagsire? SP Gamma. Right away. Seed Bomb. Dead! Alright, is there any grass? I don't think there's any grass. I think we're going to have to surf. Ooh, we can get two encounters, though. So we can decide who we want to train up. Let's get this Pokeball. Oh, this is a hard tree to get in between. Electrizer, that's fun. Let's go ahead and surf, and we're going to catch a Pokemon right here. Our encounter is a level 23 Lotad. I have to train this thing up. Just yawn this thing. Yawn it right now. Yawn again. Put it to sleep. Throw balls at it. Ultra Ball. Caught instantly. That is nice. So we're going to get to have some Pokemon in this episode two we're gonna go ahead let's heal my paralyzation where are you i don't have any full heals anymore oh i do have full heals right there we gotta stock up on all kinds of items oh nice and broken i'm black and now i'm battling someone let's just kill this guy really fast because we just want to catch a pokemon we just want to catch a pokemon we just want to catch a pokemon i don't want your number because you're not pretty all right let's go in here Ice Path. Let's get our encounter for Ice Path right now. A level 38 Sphere. Probably could have found a stronger Pokemon, but it's fine. Whoa, that does too much. Let's go into Mama. And now let's throw a ball at you. Nice and caught. Nice and caught. S-P-T. Let's go hatch these eggs to end this episode because this episode has been going on for quite a while. Quite, quite a while. Boom shakalaka, my name is Waka Flaka. Boom shakalaka. All right, let's heal up. And let's trade this low tad in right now. Low tad, low tad. And let's also get the sphere that we just caught in our party, just because. And we are on box thir 14, I believe. Let's check 13. We got three, three. All right, right here. So we're gonna roll a die right here for low tad. We got a die. Let's roll it. Our first roll is a one. So right here. Our next roll. Is a one! So we're taking Maka out. Uh, Maka for Lotad. Lotad is what, level 23, I think? Level 23. So this is Maka. Let me just make sure. M-A-K-A. Yup. Maka, M-A-K-A. 
M A K A M A. Wait, that's not for low tad. Yeah, it was for low tad. Seal's the next one. We call low tad first. So we're gonna trade this for Maka. Maka is what is Maka? What is Maka? What is Maka? 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 Maka is a scyther. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool to have actually. I would like to nickname you Maka. Huh? Wow. That's actually really good. Let's check out. Let's check out your moves. Maka the scyther. Quick attack, Night Slash. So those are your moves you have. That's fine. Got the ability Swarm. That's cool. Let's go ahead and level you up to level 23. Thank you so much for sending me in, Mach. I really do appreciate it. I love you guys so much. And uh, we're going to go ahead and level you up to level 23. And then we're probably going to, uh, in between episodes or at the beginning of the next episode, you guys will see me grind them up. I might not. I might just give them the, uh, left, uh, the experience share. No, I'll probably grind them up. Uh, we're going to keep Night Slash over Pursuit. Yeah, I'll probably I'll make a grinding montage for if I if I keep this guy false swipe we don't really want we're not into catching Pokemon obviously we like to kill all of our encounters and whatnot so that's fine agility no we're not gonna set up with you you're a little bit too frail to set up with uh, at least on the speed we're not gonna try to use agility we'd use sword oh ooh, 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 wing attack stab let's go ahead and get rid of Leer so we have night slash and wing attack for our Maka level 23 and now let's trade in this feel this gosh darn lovely feel Oh, we're already back to box number one. Box number one. Let's roll the die. I got the die. Let's roll it. Our first roll is a three. So we're on this. And then our next roll is a three again. What the heck? Bil Bivalvia. Bivalvia. That's, I really hope I remember to do that. B-I-V-A-L-V-I-A. -I -I Bivalvia. Level 38. Bivalvia. 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 B-I-V-A-L-V-I-A. Bivalvia. Bivalvia? I'm gonna say it over and over again in my head. What do we got? What is a Bivalvia? It is a Shelter. All right, that's not that bad actually. That's really not that bad. Let's nickname you Bivalvia. B I V A L V I A. I have no idea what that means or what that's in reference to. It's probably reference to something, and I'm just clueless. So I believe what is this level forty something or thirty something? You have Ice Cold Spear, Rapid Spin. Wow! And you, oh, this is a great Pokemon. This is a great Pokemon, and it has Sky High defenses. Uh, Supersonic. Nope. We're gonna pay very close attention to this because I do not want to get rid of my item. I seriously want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one. I am sorry the blaze went down, but it was kind of just one of those things where I really thought that close combat was gonna kill, and I'm not gonna run damage counts in the middle of an LP, nor would I be able to because I don't know what EV spreads or anything that these Pokemon have. So. I really, I trusted in my Pokemon, unfortunately. My Pokemon did not, uh, it did not pay off. What is Clam? Whoa! Oh, two to five turns. I thought it was, I thought it was like a new, um, Ice School Spear type move, but it was Water. I have to check what level Bivalvia has to get up to. Ice Shard, yes, we want Ice Shard. Let's give it a, let's give it a takedown. Now, I don't know if you'll get Shell Smash at all. But even if you don't, uh, let me just, I don't want to overlevel it. I don't want to overlevel it. Oh, look at how cutie is following me around. So small. Level 38. So we gotta get this thing up to level 38. Uh, Aurora Beam, no thank you. Level 38, we're right there. When do you evolve? You wanna learn Whirlpool? I'm gonna eventually need to teach Whirlpool to something. Let's get rid of Rapid Spin for now. Now we can get to Whirl Islands. Uh, all right, so level 38. I think we're gonna keep this thing. I'm pretty positive. Let's go to our box, though. Uh, Togekiss. Oh, if we have Cacturn and Scyther, that's going to stink. That's a fire weakness right there. Um, But I really want to use Scyther. I think we're going to open up the next episode. I'm going to keep this party right here. Uh, I'm going to keep this party right here, Shelter. So that'll be on the on the layout. In the next episode, you're going to open up. I'm probably just going to grind both Scyther and Shelter. Just get them grinded out of the way, because I do want to eventually use Scyther. And not that I want to lose Cacturn, but I want to use Scyther at some point, so maybe I'll swap them out once in a while. So I'm going to get them both up to, like, level 52 at the beginning of the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this LP and the way I played a little bit better, please hit the like button. That'll really show that this is how I'm going to play from now on. And it'll encourage me, because I love you guys, and I hope you guys love me a little. Just have yourselves a good day, but above all else, keep it shady.